this is a quick comparison video. Last time I tested my uh, pulling pot on an AC room uh, that has around 26 degree temperature. So I didn't see any significant difference in performance. So already I run several tests on uh, a non AC room and without cool cooling part. Now I'm going to turn it to without cooling part and with cooling part. So let's see there is any difference or not. I'm going to run CPU Cinebench. As you can see the temperature is 49, now it's 50. You can see the temperature in the notification. The fans are now around 3000 rpm. Now the temperature is 60 degrees, 61 degree. Somebody asked in the comment of that particular video and I said that for cooling purpose only you don't need to buy deep cool N9EX. Deep cool N9EX is a very good cooling pad. Uh, it's metal, it's aluminium and you can adjust the angles. So I brought it for ergonomics other than cooling. So I really need to know if there is any performance improvement or actual cool down the laptop. Actually the uh, cooling bar will cool down our laptop or MacBook Pro especially because there is no air vents in the bottom. So I don't know this will work. The highest CPU score I got in my Avengistan room with cooling bar is around around 606 or something. It is now 547. And I'm going to run one more test without cooling bar. Now it is 60 degree. So let's see how much the temperature is increasing. And the, I really like this cooling bar because this has uh, 3 USB out that is USB 2.0 still you can connect uh, keyboard, mouse and one uh, or two hard disk. I connected two terabyte as Western digital hard disk and one terabyte uh, Seagate hard disk on this USB 2.0 uh, uh, come with uh, the deep pool and EX. The performance was very very bad. I got around only 20 megabytes read and uh, 12 megabytes write. I think so. When I connect one hard disk on this uh, hub and one keyboard mouse and uh, the two TV hard disk on the MacBook Pro default uh, USB, and I got around 60 to 70 megabytes. That's decent. So uh, for USB hub and uh, ergonomics. I recommend this. Now the temperature is 67 degree. Now I am going to run the next test on uh, my Deep Pool N9EX uh, cooling bag. Let's see if there is any difference. And our score is 553. Now my laptop is on the cooling pad and I am connecting the USB. And the Deep Pool N9EX is running at uh, full speed, uh, the air is coming from both sides. I can uh, feel that with my hands. So uh, now the temperature is down 54 degree. Uh, okay. I'm going to give few seconds because the cooling bar should uh, give few seconds to uh, match the RPM. Yeah, yeah, it's running at full speed. I think. And the CPU temperature is 51, 50. So I'm going to run the test CPU test on Cinepatch. Yeah, temperature is rising, but let's say it's going to 67. Then I can uh, say that there is no difference. Okay, now it's 63 degree CPU temperature. 
65. I think without laptop cooling pad, it was 67. 66. So my video was right. For cooling purpose, you don't need to buy this, uh, this or any kind of cooling pad for MacBook Pro. It was very small. Uh, air vents in the bottom. But still, both uh, the laptop and the cooling pad is in metal. So I think there is some kind of uh, cooling purpose will fulfill. I don't know. Now the MacBook Pro is running at 6000 RPM plus fan speed and the green bird is also running at full speed. Okay, I forget to notice the CPU score, but again, I didn't see that. Okay, now it's 66 degrees C, 66.8. When running open GL test, uh, the fans also getting 6000 plus. So, no matter what test you have doing, okay, 66.75 degrees C, 66.88. Okay, I think that is a minor, very, very minor advantage when you see no, it is reached 67 degrees. So there is a uh, little, not a little advantage when using a cooling bar with fan. Uh, it's also making noise and that means when you are recording something, uh, this will add noise. So it's not work when uh, you're recording. So the max temperature was 67 with cooling bed and without cooling bed. So that's the conclusion. I will, I'm going to move to my air conditioned room and let's see what's the max temperature. I'm not going to edit this video, so please uh, skip uh, the rendering and my unwanted talk and see what's the results. So the max temperature in without air conditioning and with cooling bag and without cooling bag is 67 plus okay there is no advantage okay let's move to his air conditioning room and find out what is the difference with and without cooling bag this is a long video My air condition is running at 26 degree for last one hour, so it's not exactly 26 degree, but still good enough. So I'm unplugging the cooling pad and laptop is on a normal desk and going to run another test. So now the temperature is 55 degree, 54 degree. The max temperature was 67, so it's better to run your MacBook Pro or any MacBook on an air conditioned room or move to Antarctica. <laughs> yes, <laughs> in normal room, it will not give you the max performance. 
but for my use case i didn't get any lags or any kind of problem with my mac because i am using text editors and sometimes i enjoy video for me macbook is perfect i'm going to run another test without cooling back on a0 room so the max temperature was without cooling back was 64 around 3.5 3 to 3.5 degree difference on the first test on a0 room okay the second test must climb to 67 let us see fan is at max speed Still 63, 64. Uh, easy room must help. <laughs> okay, after this test, we are going to take our cooling bag and give a test. Now it is 64 surface is still uh, still warm and uh, I think the score is a little bit improved I didn't notice the last score so I don't know so get the cooling pad connecting the USB cable now the cooling part is running at max speed I believe okay now the temperature is 48 degrees C so I'm going to run another test temperature is getting down drastically or not I don't know 46 that's the effect of cooling back maybe not okay let's run the test okay test start at 45 degrees c cooling bar on air conditioned room keep in mind when we run the test on a non air conditioned room there was no difference so let's see if this make any difference degree I think in last test we got around 64 degree um, 61 degree C 62 fan target speed is 5200 so on an air conditioned room there is a small advantage when we use a cooling bath like this because the max temperature was 64 on the first run still the laptop surface is a little bit warm when we use this cooling bath for around 15 to 16 sorry 15 to 30 minutes the, the whole laptop surface will get uh, slightly cool so I'm going to run the next test speed temperature came down to 52 degree Now it's 60, 61. Yes, there is a small advantage when we use uh, the cooling bed in an air conditioned room. 
because the cold air is uh, getting uh, to the MacBook Pro chassis that is also metal so it uh, bring down the temperature uh, much quicker around 2 degree difference I'm going to run an open seal test after half an hour of usage in an air conditioned room I think I can easily uh, get the CPU score to 600 plus so getting a cooling bag without an air conditioned room will not help otherwise you need to put some ice cubes <laughs> in the bottom of the cooling bag that's a good solution <laughs> okay the temperature is 55 this is a free application I downloaded from some website uh, you can see the info here this fanny widget Daniel strong application and it's fanny hit temperature is 61 next temperature is 62 and the max frame rate I get around 56 frame per second okay I will wait for around 10 minutes it is for 18 pm and come back and on a test because that will uh, represent a much normal results now it's already heated up so giving 10 minutes for cooling down and get the room temperature okay now it is almost 10 minutes over so let's see the temperature it's 44 degree and it's 43.88 so we are going to run a test CPU test Fan is running 2000 normal. Forty eight. I'm already running Google Chrome and some other application in another window. So this is a pretty normal test an everyday use case for me at least the CPU temperature is 55 degrees C first run this is first run after 10 minutes okay 57 the score is much lower 463 I don't know why maybe it is running on the battery ok next test we will plug the power cord phantom fan speed is still around 2000 it is running on my Deepool N9 Deepool N9 EX cooling bird temperature 1 to 60 degrees it's 
still find speed is 2000 something yes the laptop uh, chassis is a little bit cool I can feel that maybe that is the reason the fan is not keen degree and the score is still around 469 I'm adding the power cord going to run the test again let's see the activity monitor Going to 62 degrees, but still the laptop fan is not kicking in to 5000 plus, it is 2400 current speed, slightly increasing, but no that much. The CPU temperature is 64 degrees. Six degree C. I think the non easy room was sixty seven, but unfortunately, the CPU score is four sixty seven, it's completely useless or inaccurate. I don't know why this is happening. I'm going to launch Cinema 40 for one more time. Okay, going to run the test once again and CPU temperature is still 54 degree, power cord is connected, it's charging, maybe that's the reason, I don't know. Okay, now the fan got 4000 plus. Temperature 63.88 degrees C with cooling pad. Four degree it is five forty eight. I cannot reproduce the six hundred score six hundred and six or something. I got uh, before recording this video. Oh, maybe uh, the recording is going on. That's why I am getting. Uh, 5.40, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, yeah, that's good. Uh, while recording, I'm getting around 5.40. That's good. I forgot about that. Uh, it's already recording the video that uh, the CPU usage must be uh, using the screen flow, the application I'm using to record this. So that's fine. Okay, without uh, with cooling bad on an AC room, you will get around 600 plus any bench power on a mid 2014 MacBook Pro. 
warna maju pro fan speed is full Okay, we are finishing this video by running an OpenGL test. CPU score is 567, that is decent. Okay, the final test. So, the maximum score we got when the fan was on 6000 RPM, that means it's thermal throttling or some kind of performance is not there when the fan is not at 6000 RPM. Yeah. That is 42 fps and the max I got was 56 when not using screen flow on an easy room. Okay. Anyway, that's it. This test will conclude that uh, for extra performance you don't need any cooling bed or anything on a MacBook Pro because there is little or no advantage for using a cooling bed with for performance increment for increment so that's the conclusion anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a good day this is vishnu bye one more thing this is openspeedtest.com an internet speed test application it is not using flash or any other plugin you can run a speed test on any device anytime you all you need is an HTML5 capable browser. Test your internet speed on openspeedtest.com. That is O P E N S P E E D T E S T dot com. Google for open speed test. Okay, bye.